In this video, we are going to look at the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of a reaction and how to label them. So what is a conjugate acid and a conjugate base? Okay, every acid-base reaction has a conjugate acid and a conjugate base. And let's just write out an example and do it. If I have HF and water, I need to first figure out which one of these is going to be my hydrogen donor, my proton donor, and which one is going to be my hydrogen acceptor. Since this is an acid, okay, uh, it's called hydrofluoric acid, right? I know that this is going to donate the H to my water, all right? Um, and if you weren't sure, please look at your electrolyte table to look for your acids. It might help, okay? Um, okay, so this guy is going to donate a hydrogen here, which means I'm going to form, instead of H2O, I now have H3O plus, and I have my fluorine with a minus charge, right? I have my fluoride ion now. Now, it's really easy to identify what's the acid and what's the base on my forward reaction, okay? Going forward, it's easy. And let's do that. So HF is my acid. Water, in this case, is my base. Hydrogen donor, hydrogen acceptor. Now, on the other side of my reaction, I am also going to have an acid and base for my reverse reaction, okay? This is an equilibrium reaction. So one of these is going to be the conjugate acid. One of these is going to be the conjugate base. So anything on my product side here, I'm going to label as conjugate. And then I just have to figure out which one of these dudes is going to be the acid, which one's going to be the base. Okay, so think about moving backwards from H3O plus and F minus to here. Which one of these guys is going to donate a hydrogen? Well, F minus doesn't have a hydrogen to donate, right? And H3O plus does. Let me grab a different color. Okay, so H3O plus is going to donate its hydrogen back to fluorine, which would make H3O plus, he's getting rid of a hydrogen, it would make that go back to water. And the fluoride ion, when he gains that hydrogen, becomes HF. So that's my forward and my reverse reaction. So in my reverse reaction, this guy is my conjugate acid. I love that I wrote acid on top. <laughs> conjugate acid. What am I doing? It's been a long day. Okay. This guy would be my conjugate base. Okay. He donated the proton. He accepted the proton. We like to abbreviate in chem, right? So CA, conjugate acid. CB conjugate base, all right? And if you want the technical like definition of it, the conjugate acid is going to be the species formed from the H plus added versus the CB is going to be the species that's left or the species that remains. I was copying word for word from your book, okay? When the H plus is removed. Okay, so just if you want that textbook definition, okay? There you have it. Let's do a few examples. Okay, so three examples to go over. And if you want to pause, you can check these, try and do them, identify the acid base and conjugate acid, conjugate base. Okay, try them on your own right now. Pause me, see if you can get it right. And now unpause. I love that I'm telling you to do that while you would be on pause. All right, you got it. Here we go, okay? First example, H3PO4, phosphoric acid plus water. This guy is going to donate the hydrogen to water to make H3O plus and H2PO4. Okay, so that means he is the acid, he is the base. Okay, water is the base in this case. And moving backwards, H3O plus, my hydronium is going to donate that 
hydrogen back so that H2PO4 turns back to H3PO4. So in this case, he's going to be my conjugate acid. This will be my conjugate base. He accepts a proton here. Okay, next, my nitrate ion does not have a, uh, a hydrogen to give, so it has to be water that is going to donate a hydrogen. So water is going to be my acid. Nitrate is going to be my base. And over on this side, okay, hydroxide is not going to get rid of that hydrogen. Nitric acid is going to donate the hydrogen. So this will be the conjugate acid. And my hydroxide will be the conjugate base. And if hydroxide accepted that extra H, that would be turned into H2O, which is what we started with. You should always be able to check moving from acid base to conjugate acid, conjugate base. If you do it correctly, you should be reforming the thing you made on the other side. Okay, it's equilibrium, right? All right, last one. Okay, slightly tricky, maybe, because you have an H for here and an H start starting here for water. So which one donates? The easiest way to look is to see what's formed. I went from H2O to H3O. So I know the H2O has to get a proton. He has to accept a hydrogen. So he is the acceptor. Water's the base. This guy is the acid, which means over here, hydronium is going to give back that H, right? He's going to donate. The SO4 two minus will accept. This will be my conjugate base conjugate acid. That's it. Hopefully you get it. You should be able to label your stuff, see who's going to donate protons, who's accepting. Good luck.